I am here with Adam Miller again. How's it going? Uh, where's your Kirkland beer? Yeah, I, I, we ran out of Kirkland beer. It was uh, serious. It was really a case of 48 cans. Yeah, we went through 48 cans yeah. yesterday. So All we're right. drinking Gatorade today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is yesterday we, I just posted a real short video on Facebook and half of it was on Instagram. Uh, we we're talking about the big steel. Or big iron. Big iron. Sorry, the new fat bike. Um, that'd be a weird name. Yeah, yeah, iron at least people, I don't, usually, I don't think most people think it's going to be a, a bike right. of iron. Right, so exactly. It is a right. titanium fat bike. Yeah, think and we'll, uh, maybe we'll gloss over that again, we'll just do a quick run through on that, on this video again, but, uh, so Adam's doing some cool stuff with Y-Cycles, he started it, uh, we shipped our first bike about a year and a half ago, it was a couple of years of making all the bikes before that, so we're selling them, so it's quite new. Cool. So what we are going to, uh, I should probably point that out what we are going to do is we're going to record a podcast, um, but I wanted to get a little bit on video just to, so you get a visual visual about the bikes, um, maybe some information, see what's going on. It's always good to look at bikes. So let's uh, take us through the bikes. Show All us right, what so you got going. We have five models of bikes. We'll just kind of go from one end to the next in no okay. particular. Yeah. But we'll start over here. This is our uh, 27.5 plus uh, titanium bike called the S7. So it's made to be a really playful, fun, all-around, all-mountain hardtail. It's got a 67.5 degree head angle, uh, short chain stays, uh, that's, uh, there's a belt drive split, you can run a single speed uh, or belt drive or geared. Um, and we do a whole lot of modern features on the bike. So we do a lot of aggressive tube shaping to help optimize the lateral stiffness and vertical compliance of the bike. Internal cable riding all around. We do still use a threaded bottom bracket. Uh, we have an integrated head tube. Those are features that we use on all of our bikes. But this bike in particular, it's kind of your all around, all mountain bike. It's super versatile, super capable. Okay. On to the next one is our R Plus bike. This stands for Road Plus, so gravel, cyclocross, um, touring, a little bit of everything. So this bike has a really short 420 millimeter chainstays, so it's still really playful, feels like a fast bike, but it has a 48C clearance. So you can run a 700 by 48C tire or a 27.5 by 2.2. So super good tire clearance if you want a really fat tire on a drop bar. Can we get some. Uh a little visual here. And you can see what's in here right now. What is this in here right now? The Rambler. Yeah, this is a Maxxis Rambler 40C tire. That's our standard spec, but we can put on really any tire that anybody wants. Yep. And then you can see here too, we got the chains to the bridge right here. So that's on the, you know, if you can see that in there, it's pretty thin. So we're good. Yep. There you go. And it's super stiff. We do this ovalized down tube that really helps with lateral stiffness. So when you stand up and sprint, it, it feels much more like a. Uh, not like a standard round tube titanium bike. Okay. Internal dropper posts are adding as well, just because dropper posts are uh, yeah. pretty awesome yeah. <laughs> on all kinds of bikes. Yep. And uh, yeah. Okay. So what uh, C tube uh, width is it? Uh, it's a, it's a thirty one six C tube. There you go. And the reason we do that is so you can fit a whole lot of dropper posts. Yep. It's more common. But we've also uh, designed the seat tube to have a little backwards bend in it, and that helps with the vertical compliance. So you don't need that twenty seven point two post yep. just for the vertical yep. compliance. Yep. Perfect. All right. Cool. So we got now. On to the next big iron half bike. We already talked a little bit about the big iron. Yeah, just run through it again. Show it. Okay, show real, it real quick. 27.5 fat bike. It's designed to have super big 27.5 by 4.5 inch tire clearance or 26 by 5 inch or 29 by 3. So it's really versatile in terms of, uh, of tire size. 197 uh, uh, rear axle. It still builds around the narrow Q factor standard 100 millimeter threaded bottom bracket. Yep. Internal dropper post. Routing, uh, 68.7 degree head angle. This complete bike weighs 24 and a half pounds. Yeah, it's uh, slider dropouts, belt drive split, gives you a whole lot of options for all We do frame or we do a full belt option. Do we have three options for you? All right. So we got on there. On to the next one. This is our wayward model 29 plus we kind of call this the overland adventure bike packing bike so this bike actually just set the baja divide record uh pete Bassinger road baja divide in 11 and a half days on this bike uh, so it's 29 plus by 2.8 or 3 inch uh, uh, compatibility slider dropouts belt drive split extra water bottle mounts internal dropper riding again and it's it's actually just a really fun super big wheel bike yeah and then last but not least we have a titanium dirt jumper uh it's super goofy it's called the tf which stands for take flight or ytf um so we figured a few of us wanted a titanium dirt jumper so we might as well make one for ourselves yeah it's a pretty fun bike if you ever get a chance to try it out yeah. 
got All right, cool. So, uh, and here's the tent, so you got a pretty good setup. Did you ever think you're going to have be here with the 20 by 10 set up at Sea Otter with this whole new bike company at this point? No, not at all. I actually, I first came to Sea Otter about 12 years, 12 years ago um, when I was racing junior road bike stuff. I like, yeah. a super serious little kid racer. I came here to race when I uh, lived up in Alaska. It's a pretty big deal to come down to uh, Sea Otter. And now I'm here kind of on the other side talking about bikes. And uh, we're still riding bikes every day after the show, but I'm not, I'm not racing here. We're cooking brats, we're yeah. cooking bacon, we serve coffee in the morning. Yeah, so. he was a chef over here, so. Yep. All right, cool. So what we're here to, are going to do is we're going to sit down and record a podcast because you have a lot to talk about. Uh, cool story. All about that. So you can do details and all that kind of stuff. So that sounds good. See ya. All right.